We are continuing our CCMA coverage and that is Canadian Indigenous Folk Alternative Country Artist Kyle McCurney who is nominated for four CCMA awards. Thanks for joining us, Kyle. Oh yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here on the Big Red Couch. Yeah, this is a good couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's cozy. Uh, let's hear a little bit about yourself. It's well, the time in the classroom when it's like everyone has to say a little bit about. Okay, I see. Your turn. Yeah, I'm. I live in Airdrie, Alberta, in the suburbs. I have two children. I'm a father first. Um, and how old are your kids? Oh, they're six and two. Oh yeah, yeah, you're in the weeds still a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's great though. It's the it's the greatest thing ever. Do you sing them to sleep? No. You don't? No, no. It's usually when we sing in the house, they're like, "Dad, stop, stop, stop." <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, how long have you been performing? Uh, since I was a little kid. Really? Like, yeah, I grew up in it. My parents. That's awesome. Well, my dad's a musician and stuff, so. Oh, that's great. So yeah. it's like you've been weaned on it. Yeah, it's in your generational. Blood. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's it like being the most nominated unsigned artist at this year's CCMAs? I don't know yet because it hasn't happened, <laughs> but I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very exciting. It's very, I, I'm very grateful and just, uh, you know, it's a fun weekend. Good to see everybody. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm very appreciative. Okay. So is, um, this is not your first CCMA awards ceremony. Yeah. So do you look forward to kind of catching up with pals from the past that you don't see every day kind of thing? Yeah, it's always the funnest part. Yeah, yeah for super, sure. Super exciting. It's when we all get to get together because you... we don't usually, you know, everyone's busy. So it's mm -hmm. nice to be in one place together. Mm -hmm. It's true. And do you spend most of your time in Airdrie or are you kind of traveling, doing your thing, touring, yeah, playing? We, we travel and tour and play quite a lot. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's nice to be home. This summer wasn't so busy, so we had a lot of you know, home time with the kids and stuff. My wife, Sarah, sings in the band. Okay, I was me, so, actually yeah. wondering if that was her. That was yeah, singing. that, that yeah. was her. Okay, yeah. oh, that's and awesome. Yeah. So do yeah. you bring the kids on tour? As often as we can. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, thank goodness for grandparents, you know. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true, it's so true. Do they like going on tour? I guess the two-year-old doesn't really know what's going on, but the six-year-old must have a good grasp. Yeah, I think they, they enjoy it. They enjoy seeing mom and dad playing, and they, um, they get to do lots of cool things and experience... Uh, Lots of neat, neat things that mm -hmm. most kids, you know, don't get to do, so it's cool. Now, you've played with some pretty big bands. Yeah. So we've got uh, Black Crows. What was that like? That was wild. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, I feel like they're kind of wild. Yeah. Uh, Kip Moore, Our Lady Peace, are they great? Yeah, they're very great. Yeah, yeah they very. seem like very down-to-earth, kind of like run-of-the-mill Yeah, guys. they are. Yeah, very very genuine. Yeah, uh, Dean Brody uh, and signed on with Canada's leading country music talent, uh, Smoko Agency. Tell me about that. Oh, Sakamoto. Yeah, they're yeah. they're they're wonderful. Uh, Ron Sakamoto is from Lethbridge, Alberta, and a bit of a legend. He's in his 80s and started this company like in in the 60s. He started promoting and booking artists and bands, and he discovered Shania Twain. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and he's kind of credited for that and. Just a wonderful group, and yeah, I love working with them. That's awesome. Okay, so what's next for you? I'm just working on songs for Record 3, so, you know, always writing and being creative. Um, going to tour this fall and next year, just play a lot and, mm -hmm. and make that record. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Get more music out there. Well, that's amazing. Uh, personal question, besides music, what else do you enjoy doing? Hobbies. Hmm. Yeah, I love to like renovate things, and I used to build camper vans out. Really? And, yeah. So do you tour in a camper van? Uh, we have. That would be a great idea. <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> we have, and I did a bus one time. Like I, I bought an old Greyhound and gutted it and rebuilt the whole thing into a tour bus, and we used that for a lot of years. So that's amazing. Yeah, it was fun. see, that's the smart way to travel. You get someone who can sing and play and, and renovate. Fix the bus. Yeah, and fix the <laughs> bus while you're at it. Okay, well, Music Friday for tomorrow. Make sure you tune in as Kyle is going to be performing his latest single, Nothing Ain't Right. Thanks so much, Kyle, for yeah, being here. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate your appreciate time, it. your energy, your effort, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck this weekend. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Lots more to come up on Morning Live.